So here we have a reduction gearbox from an electric vehicle and in this video I'm just going to show you the insides and show you how simple they are. Obviously this one's unbolted so I'm just going to split the two halves. So when this is in the vehicle it would actually be mounted like this. Hand at the top and then this is where your half shafts will come out either side to go to the front wheels. And then on this half, you've got that hole there where the spline from the electric motor will slide into there. And obviously this will all be bolted to the side of the electric motor. So firstly, let me just say, I am no expert on gearboxes at all. In fact, this is the first time I've taken a gearbox apart. But as you can see, they are incredibly simple when it comes to electric vehicles. All they're doing is reducing the speed from the electric motor, which is turning this one at the top here, reducing it down to an appropriate speed for your front wheels here. So that's why they're called a reduction gearbox. They're just a single speed and all they're doing is reducing the speed of the motor down and then this here is obviously your differential to allow your wheels to turn at different speeds when you're cornering and maneuvering and that's it they are incredibly simple devices obviously a lot more simple than a, a conventional manual or automatic transmission and there's not much in them at all so this gearbox is from a Hyundai Ioniq 28 kilowatt hour and the same gearbox is fitted to the 38 kilowatt hour Ioniq. They're exactly the same gearboxes. Um, well, actually on that point, the only difference between a 38 and a 28 is there is a couple of mounting uh, points. I think, I think up here on the top of the casing, there's two extra mounting holes like this on a 38 kilowatt hour. Ionic. I have a feeling that's for the additional water pump that you have for the battery cooling and those two mounting points aren't moulded in the case on the 28. However you can put a 38 kilowatt hour gearbox in a 28 but you couldn't really put a 28 in a 38 because you would be missing those two holes unless you want to sort of lash up some other way of mounting whatever mounted on the top of the gearbox. But the gearbox inners are identical on both and I have a feeling the same gearbox is also in other Kia and um, Hyundai or Hyundai uh, EVs but then all other manufacturers would have a very similar gearbox they're all doing the same job it is simply stepping these gear sizes up to get that reduction in speed at your driving wheels so let's just run through the basics so obviously your half shafts will be coming out of here to drive the wheels so obviously here and the underside of this half and then here we've got our oil drain plug and our oil fill plug so the oil level in the gearbox remember this is at the bottom it's sitting vertically is running about two-thirds of the way down of your half shaft so this bearing here is sitting in oil at the bottom so the oil level is only to about here so all of this isn't in oil, however, the oil is going to be flicked around the casing to lubricate these other bearings and these gears here. And I wonder actually whether that's what this nylon ring does here. I can't understand the purpose of this nylon ring. So if anyone knows, let me know. I'm wondering, is this um, to do with flicking the oil? Is this, this is in the oil, is this then flicking the oil up as this spins? That's the only reason I can see that this plastic nylon ring will have but anyway if you know any better then let me know in the comments below so on these gearboxes the fill and drain plugs here do not have magnets on the other side of them well actually let's just turn this around yeah as you can see there's no magnets sticking out there and something that's uh, talked about a lot in the Kona forum groups is about fitting magnetic drain plugs on these and there was talk about there is a magnet in the gearbox and yeah you're right up here just there is a magnet but it just sits in that little section there collecting any debris which just seems strange to me why have it there 
because all that's going to do is collect any debris and it's never going to be drained out. Um, why not have a magnet here in your drain plug? Um, because this is never going to be cleaned, it's in there sealed for life. Um, but then that said, this gearbox has done 100,000 miles and that is what it looked like. So this gearbox, to be honest, is still looking like new. However, you may have seen one of my videos before I did about uh, changing oil on Nissan ENV 200s and Nissan Leafs and on those reduction gearboxes um, at sort of 60 plus thousand miles I have seen small chunks of metal in the oil when you drain it because those do have magnets on the drain plugs. So those gearboxes clearly aren't up to the task because this drive shaft here obviously does spin very fast, much faster than a combustion engine vehicle would. So these gears have obviously got to be up to the speeds, but actually in terms of what they do, there is a very little mechanical contact here um, and these really aren't doing much. And as you can see, this one has done 100,000 miles and these bearings and this diff in here is all looking like new still. So yeah, these gearboxes are very simple. They are doing nothing more than reducing your speed down and then you've got your differential here, which is allowing your wheels to turn at different speeds. And that's about it. The most complicated part of this gearbox is the park actuator here. So let me explain what this does. On the side of your gearbox here is your park actuator. So in the car, when you select park by pushing that button, this thing here, which is effectively just an electric motor, is turning that uh, toothed gear down here, which is turning that, which ultimately is just locking this pin into that gear there. And uh, I'm assuming this pushes out to move that. I'm not sure how that actually works, but all of this is just making this lever do that. So that is the most complicated part of this gearbox, is this external actuator, and these are the point of failure actually, these do fail on EVs, um, but this can be unbolted externally and very easy to replace just three bolts and that electrical connector. So that turns that, which in turn, I'm guessing pulls this plunger up, it's difficult to tell, but this then locks that tooth, uh, well that claw there, locks into these teeth here. So when park is engaged, the lever goes, actually it comes that way, I think, doesn't it? It goes clunk, locks that. So then your whole reduction gear set here is locked tight. So yeah, as you can see, very simple devices and obviously with electric vehicles, far less mechanical parts in an EV, far less wearable parts and even inside the gearboxes, very little going on here, very little to wear. As long as your toothed gears here are up to the speeds that are put on this, um, really very little to go on here, very little mechanical wear. There's not sliding and moving gears like you would get in ICE gearboxes. Um, you've obviously just got your bearings on either end of each set and then you've got your bearings here on the uh, dry shafts and then you've got a corresponding ring here which then sits at the top of the bearings which is then clamped when the casing is put together um, but yeah very 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 simple gearboxes so theoretically as this is doing very little work and no sliding gears these things should last forever um, and as you can see this one the bearings are all looking good and this has done a hundred thousand miles and that's all nice inside that diff there no wear or noticeable wear at all on any of these cogs it's all looking really nice but the only problems i've experienced so far is these park actuators um, but these are very easy to replace 
to bolt on the side of the gearbox electrical connection there um, the trouble is some manufacturers don't sell that on their own you may have seen a video i've got on the channel where i had a peugeot partner electric van and that failed and i had to buy a whole new gearbox just to get the park actuator off the side so anyway i think that's about all i can show you here just thought you might find this interesting if you have please do click the thumbs up button on youtube that really does help helps other people find the channel helps me out as well if you want to know more about electric vehicles then do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video